Hello and welcome back to Game Brigade. I am your host, Brian Greer, and today we're taking a look at the 2021 January Kickstarter callback. This series is a series where we go back one month and take a look at the games that I kickstarted or late backed or pledge manager maybe. Uh, so if you are new to the channel, this is a part of the show where I like to show you, the viewers, what I'm doing with my money. You know, a lot of times we show you these games, we cover these games, and I ask the question, should you back it? And I try to give you as much information as possible that I could find. Uh, but what am I doing? Well, that's what this series is for. So if you're ever curious what a content creator backs or what they're doing with their own money, then stay tuned for this episode. So let's uh, jump into the first game. Okay, right off the bat, the first game that we covered was Darwin's Journey on the channel uh, for January 2021. And I did decide to back this game late, late, late into the campaign. I'm talking maybe final 24 hours. I watched this one quite closely um, you can see I selected, if you can see that here on the camera, the collector's edition version. And I watched this one closely. I wanted to see what uh, components came in this collector's edition and if it would enhance the gameplay. I felt like Darwin's Journey has very good substance in terms of uh, meat to the game. I was a little nervous that it was a little heavier of a Euro and which every time I have a heavy Euro, they're just more difficult to get to the game table than a Meritrash, although I hate that term of a game. Um, so I, I've been kind of hesitant buying more Euros as I have a good breadth of Euros already well, ready to play. Um, but I definitely did like the components and the collector's edition of this version of Darwin's Journey. So might have been a little bit of FOMO, but I definitely backed here in the last 24 hours. The second game that we covered on the channel this week, or this month, I guess you would say, is Primal The Awakening. And this is one that actually, as of the time of this recording, has completed its funding campaign. So congratulations to them for finishing. And this is one I still kept my early bird, my 239 pound, or a pound, euro, early bird. But I will tell you, I went back and forth on this one quite a bit as I do think the gameplay is going to be interesting and fun. I do think the minis, they're nice, but they're not as needed as some games. I mean, I don't know. I think they're fine. So people are hard on it. But the cost of this game, comparatively to other games in a similar avenue, I mean, look at Oathsworn. Oathsworn was a lot cheaper up, the front, up front than this game, um, which also has minis. So I, I just definitely feel like this game was a little overpriced, but I'm still, one of my favorite game types are boss battlers. So I really wanted to give it a chance and I feel more confident in this one than I'm gonna do with the actual Monster Hunter that'll be later this year. So I decided to keep my early bird. Uh, I, I do think it's gonna be fine as a back. Uh, but again, this month was a lot of wishy-washy. I mean, there was a lot of uh, unsettled, like feelings that I'm like not certain on all my backs. Uh, and I'll be honest with you guys, I this is one that I, to the last wire, was still considering if I'm gonna cancel my pledge or not. I ended up keeping it um, just because I think it's gonna be a fine value, but I can see as to why someone decided to not back it. Okay, Castles of Mad King Ludwig. This one is still active, has 15 days left to go in the campaign. As of right now, I have not backed this campaign, but I, this is another one, I am very, very interested in Castles of Mad King Ludwig. I think this would be a great entry level game. It would allow me to, sh you know, cull some of my older games that are more of those entry level games. Uh, and I definitely kind of like the theme of it. Um, it's a little expensive and that's one of the main reasons why I'm not backing it. And I did justify its value because you're getting some extra deluxified components. You're getting four, uh, uh, expansion packs with this. So in terms of the cost, it's actually a good deal, 
but do you need all the expansion packs? Is the base game fine? Or am I fine with just the secrets expansion pack? Uh, that's another question for another day in terms of expansion packs. But, you know, I'm, if I was going to get this, I don't think I would be getting the Colossal version. I just don't see the Colossal version as being realistic on an actual board game table with four players. I think it would be a stretch at three players, especially with my current setup. So I'm definitely not interested in the Colossal. I would be looking here at the Royal or even the Collector Pledge, depending on where I'm at. And I kind of told myself, okay, we're not backing Darwin, we're backing Castles. Okay, no, we're not backing Castles, we're backing Darwin. And this went on back and forth. I eventually backed Darwin because it had uh, 24 hours left in the campaign. I had to make a decision, um, but I'm still not done with this one. Um, so I'm still looking at it and I'm also, you know, considering maybe do I just get a retail, you know, do I just wait? Um, what would be the cost at that point? So this is one that again, I'm very interested in. I have not backed it as of right now. Um, and I'm not sure if I will back it, but I wanted to make sure I talked about it because it is a game that we covered in the month of January. Okay. So one of the reasons why I'm a little hesitant in terms of backing castles is because massive darkness to hellscapes uh, pledge manager just went live and i had backed in at the pledge manager level but i hadn't actually picked a, a specific campaign i really wanted to get an idea of the shipping costs everything going to be involved in the game and, and kind of what to expect with massive darkness and i will say um, a few months ago when this game came back and we did the Kickstarter callback for that episode, I mentioned that I probably was not going to be backing it. Well, you know, opinions have changed. I'm fast forward, you know, three months now. Uh, I have actually backed in here at the Massive Darkness level. And uh, I actually went in on this bling all in version English. Uh, so that is, a ver that, is a, that is a late back if you are interested um, but I did that in the pledge manager. So I backed a dollar and then I went in on the bling all in. Um, I, I hope that's a good decision. I think the gameplay looks interesting and I like the asymmetrical characters. I definitely, in terms of dungeon crawling, I always enjoy asymmetrical, uh, experiences. So that was one of the things that drew me into it. The biggest drawback for me when we covered this campaign were the interesting choices of some of the uh, art. For example, this dragon was a very weird looking dragon. It didn't feel like it fit in the motif. It's very Asian oriental sculpt. It doesn't even feel like it matches this little dragon skull down here to me. Uh, very, very interesting decisions in terms of the mix of uh, different types of cultures and stuff. I mean, it's not a bad thing, but I mean, they even had the teddy bear one, which I personally wasn't a big fan of i of course i can't find it as i scroll through here because this campaign is massive as the title states it's one of these mobs was a was a was a sugar bear thing i don't know sugar teddy bears but this was the final game that i i backed in the month of january and it was um let's go and fade back to me it was one that was quite a, quite expensive, obviously. And so I, when I look at my expenses and say, okay, what can I allocate towards gaming every month? I generally tell you guys that I usually back two games uh, on average each month. Uh, and so this month I will officially be at three games. If we count uh, Darwin, if we count Primal, and we count uh, Massive Darkness. And Massive Darkness and Primal being two higher, higher price games kind of eats into that budget. So I just don't think I have uh, the means to really consider uh, going in on Castles of Mad King Ludwig. Not that I don't want the game. I think it, it looks like a fun game to me. I'm just definitely not uh, there yet uh, as it is right now. So that is the Kickstarter callback. If you guys enjoy this show, if you enjoy the series, and you enjoy hearing what my personal thoughts are on how I spend my money on Kickstarter, please make sure you hit the like button, shoot me a subscription. It really greatly appreciate it and it helps the channel more than you might know. If you guys want to really support the channel and help me continue this career on YouTube as I'm forming it, uh, you can check out down below in the links. I have a Patreon that is brand new set up. We currently have four Patreon. Patreons. I appreciate everyone that is supporting the channel already. Thank you for that so much. Please check out check out the link and let me know if you have any questions. 
for that is pretty much it. I was going to say something else, but that's pretty much about it. So I'm going to wrap this up right now. I will talk to you all very soon. Thank you.